Facebook page uh, and then rename it to something else. So the original timestamp on the Facebook page will say, you know, for example, December 10th, uh, and then you rename it to something else later on. Also, obviously, I work in, you know, web publishing, and you can change a timestamp as easy as anything. So, I mean, that, to me, that's, you know, it's quite bizarre, like a lot of the other stuff, but it's not really proof of anything. Um, we're going to get back into the details shortly. I just want to get your take on this. Louise Tambaschio, who was a family friend of the Lanzas, told 60 Minutes, quote, I know he was on medication. Um, Professor, why over a month later do we not know anything about what psychiatric drugs Adam Lanza was on? Well, I think that this is a very valid question that um, journalists such as John Rappaport have, uh, have asserted. Uh, why is it that, uh, that we don't know what the, uh, his physician's name is, uh, if he was in fact under psychiatric care or the equivalent, and, and what, types of, uh, what types of drugs he may have been on? There's a, a, a drug that I've never heard of called, I believe, Tanat, uh, that, uh, that he was uh, supposedly on. Uh, but again, there, there's a, a limited amount of information uh, that's been uh, that's been disclosed uh, by by authorities or or otherwise. There was actually talking about disinformation. There was a, an individual who claimed to be Lanza's uncle, who was circulating around the media a few weeks ago now, and he actually put out the, the name of the drug that Lanza was supposedly on. A bunch of publications ran with it, including New York Magazine, I think, um, and it was complete disinfo, it was completely made up. So again, another example of how people are poisoning the well to distract people from understanding what actually happened. But of course, it took nearly six months to get confirmation that James Holmes was on psychiatric drugs, um, but we still don't know exactly which one. So. Again, as you said, I mean, these SSRIs are the elephant in the living room, aren't they? Because while the media will talk about, you know, the video games and things like that, they won't address the psychiatric drugs that are prevalent amongst almost all of these mass shooters throughout the last 20 years. Well, uh, actually, uh, Sanjay Gupta did a piece on, on CNN. We'll talk about it after the break. Got to leave it there for now. We'll be back. Stay tuned. 